Here's what's going on in the side battery packs of all our vehicles. So the two battery boxes that fit under the driver and passenger seat. You can see two Tesla modules, obviously. They're in parallel, which is why we need two BMS modules. This is the Ziva BMS system. Uh, it's all connected via CAN bus, so we run CAN bus in and out of the box and then it does all the cell taps and connections uh, and everything going on directly into the box. So you can see two plugs here, one for each of the Tesla modules. Each of these Tesla modules kind of uh, registers as, as six batteries. You can actually see the separation here on these plates. So, so it's sort of, although there's hundreds of, of individual cells, it appears as six cells to a BMS. And that's how it you know, balances and it makes sure all the packs stable like that. Um, so two, two batteries, you can see this one's missing the front or the, oh, sorry, the rear plate. Um, what we have on here is the you know, positive negative uh, output of the main, main power, then the control port. So CAN bus in and out, 12 volt control, um, or 12 volt power for the BMS, 12 volt control for the contactor. We also have uh, this, this little cutout is for the breather, so just a little uh, valve for the, just to keep it pressure equalised and everything in the in the pack and venting if that's ever required. Um, what's on the other side of this uh, is a slightly different layout depending on whether it's uh, the left or right pack, but basically a fuse and a contactor. So one of these is the most negative part of our battery pack and the other one is the most positive. So when you turn the key on and the batteries turn on, uh, there's a contactor connected to, on one of them, the contactor is connected to the positive output. On the other, the contactor is connected to the negative output. So basically there's the, the whole pack running at say 125 volts is not on until both of those contactors are triggered. And then there's a fuse between all that as well. Uh, the Internal cabling is not done. There's a whole bunch of bus bars that connect up this, connect all of this, and you can see it's quite a quite a tight space. These actually move back. This top battery will move back further, and then there's uh, copper bus bars that run and do all the internal connections. This is the back plate for the front battery pack. So, in the front battery pack, there's six Tesla modules uh, on this side, and this needs substantially less. I guess, stuff in it than, than the side because this is sort of the middle of the entire battery pack. So it doesn't need a contactor because we're not controlling either the master positive or negative. But what it does still need is, of course, a positive negative output and it needs a fuse. Because we don't have a contactor, uh, the great thing about a contactor meaning that even when this is all connected, while you might be getting, say, you know, you're getting electricity uh, or connection through one of these ports, you're not getting it through the other because there's a contactor, so a switch behind it. So even if you to jam a couple of wires in here, you're not going to get uh, a circuit created between these two things. However, on the front pack, you could do that if you just had a straight positive and negative from the main battery pack. It's about 75 volts in here. You would have 75 volts across these two points. Now, that's what you want, of course, when the battery's plugged in, but you don't want that when you're installing the pack, when you're moving it, when it's on the shelf, um, when you're doing any maintenance to the car. So we do a, put a removable fuse in the front pack. So this will be taken out, this, this fuse will be connected. There'll be, um, there's two connections back here. So the positive of the battery pack will come through this and, and to that pin. So until, this fuse is put in and that will only happen once the car is built and this is installed. That's the only time that this will be live. Some people will use a, a switch, a manual disconnect switch, um, but you'd still want a fuse. So to kind of do, this does the dual job of being basically an on-off switch by removing that fuse. Uh, and of course, it's a fuse.